gala was held tonight, bringing awareness to human sex trafficking. And as you're about to hear, the crime is all too common, particularly here in Nevada. Madison Kimbrough was at the event and spoke to gala organizers. She joins us live in our newsroom tonight with more. Madison. Human trafficking is one of the fastest growing crimes in our country, and Las Vegas ranks number one in the nation for trafficking of minors. That's according to the B.A. Shiro Foundation. And tonight they hosted a gala to bring awareness to the issue. This is everyone's problem. This is not a, a female problem. This is not, a, not necessarily just a male problem. This is a human problem. And so everyone needs to be involved. The Biashiro Foundation hosting their eighth annual sex trafficking awareness gala, bringing awareness to the growing crime, an issue we unfortunately see too much of here in Las Vegas. Nevada currently has the second highest rate of human trafficking in the country per 100,000 people, according to impactnevada.org. Metro's assistant sheriff, Sasha Larkin, shares with 8 News Now just how prevalent it can be around us. It's not something that happens in a foreign land. It's not something that happens to other people. Everybody is susceptible. It's the girl next door. It's your own child that gets lured online. It's something that happens at school or at the mall, right, by a boy that they think they love. Or it can be any number of scenarios. And with the Be A Shiro Foundation, founder Kimberly Miles says the amount of organizations she's now partnered with is growing because the need is ongoing. We can't wait for somebody else to do something. It has to be local people, which makes it contagious for each community. Now we have uh, one of our organizations opening a third house. Um, we have another organization that just started, Champions for CASA. What's happening in CASA is we have over 3,600 homeless um, kids in a program, foster care. And proceeds from tonight's event will support the foundation's program for housing, medical and counseling services for survivors, plus education and training for the prevention and intervention of sex trafficking. In the newsroom, Madison Kimbrough, 8 News Now.